Hi, Karina Gardner here, and today I'm going to show you a couple of things in your Swatch library. It's something you maybe haven't paid attention to in the past, but I think by knowing it's there, you can do some really, really crazy, wonderful things with it in Illustrator. Before I get started, I want to make sure that you know about two things. First is my free webinar on my website. It's Make Money Doing Something Creative. If you've been thinking about becoming a designer, it is such a great way to learn the strategies I've used to become a designer. The second is to check out my design boot camp. We have one coming up, so make sure and check that out. I'm gonna give you the links to it both in the description, okay? All right, let's get started. I've got Illustrator open. I have a brand new file open right here, okay? Your swatches, if you go to window and go to swatches right here, you can see mine is checked. It's because it's right here, already opened up, okay? pretty great. Um, so your swatches are sitting here and there's like some general swatches that just get put into here that you can use for whatever you've got going on. If you come down here to the bottom corner and click on it, if you come down, you can see there are swatches that are already there. There are some that I've put in that I just use. Um, if you go to patterns, basic graphics, and then dots, this gives you three different options of patterns that they've already put in. There's actually a few more right here based on what um, illustrator you have, okay? So at the time of recording this, I'm in Illustrator 2021. So I'm gonna click on that basic dots and you can see that it has given me a separate swatch library for it, okay? So I could add this to my main swatches, which may happen depending on which ones I use, or I can leave it separate like this, okay? So if I come over to my rectangle tool and I just make a rectangle like this, if I click any on any of these, it will make a dot pattern. Now, if you don't see something showing up, it means something is wrong. And I'm gonna come over here and just double check my fill and my stroke. So you'll notice the fill is black and the white is my stroke. So one of the issues that I have here is that my stroke is forward and my white fill is not. And so when I add a swatch here to this, it's going to add it to my stroke, not to my fill. So I am going to click on my fill so it comes forward, right? And then I'm going to click on one of my swatches. Now what you'll notice is that whatever swatch I chose that's here, it will now show up in my library of swatches down here, okay? And it will be saved to this document. So if I saved this document right now, anytime I opened it up, I might not necessarily see this window. This window doesn't automatically open up, but I will see it sitting here in my swatches. Pretty neat, right? So that was my quick tip for the day. Go check out your libraries, see what's already in there. There's wonderful things, including Pantone libraries already set up for you. Make sure and check out those two things, my design bootcamp and my free webinar on my site at karinagardnercourses.com, and I will see you soon.